Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Analyzing Mike Penny. Analyzing Mike Penny. Now this is a, a text I received from Mike Penny. It's called Snake Postures. Snake Postures. It starts off with Dear Tennessee Sensei. And it goes on to say, maybe the factor to consider really well could come from the second kraken in the pocket of the sea. As you can see, that's how the text begins. So let's start our analysis here. So maybe the factor to consider really well could come from the second kraken in the pocket of the sea. What this is trying to tell us is that perhaps, it's not for certain, but maybe the factor to consider. So what we know is that there's a factor here to consider and we need to consider it possibly really well. And it may or may not come from the second kraken in the pocket of the sea. Another thing this implies is that there's more than one kraken in the pocket of the sea. So, uh, so far what we have is the statement that's saying that there's a factor to consider and perhaps, we don't know for sure, but it could come from one of multiple krakens in the pocket of the sea, in this case, the second one. It goes on to say, let's have it so that the wheat that supports slow leaks is actually a virus detector. Now here what we have is that there's this virus detector that he's speaking of. Now let's have it so that the wheat that supports slow leaks is actually a virus detector. What this is telling us is there's a virus detector whose function is the support of slow leaks. We don't really know what those slow leaks are, but we know that there exists a virus detector and it says here, let's have it so that the wheat that supports the slow leaks. What this tells us is that there's a virus detector masquerading as wheat. And what it really is there for is to support slow leaks. As I said before, we don't know what those slow leaks are. Maybe they're leaks into uh, some sort of computer system because it's a virus detector. Maybe this is referring to a virus, uh, computer virus, but it's supporting the slow leaks. Uh, so a virus detector is not just there to detect virus, but actually to support the leaking of the virus. And furthermore, it's masquerading as wheat. This is basically, I think, what the statement is telling us. There's some wheat out there that is supporting um, what I would assume to be computer viruses leaking into uh, the, the computers of the public. Uh, so we, watch out for wheat if you own a computer, I think is what he's trying to say. Then he says, also, let's size up the raising of a boy of the forest and discover whether or not he has any money. Now, the wording is tricky here. You're not actually sizing up the boy of the forest to find out if he has any money, but you're actually sizing up the action of the raising of the boy of the forest. So there's an action being taken, which is the raising of a boy, and it's that action that we're trying to discover whether or not that action itself has any money. This is very strange because how does an action have money to begin with? Uh, anyway, this is uh, something to think about. <clears throat> it's how you misplace a pool, believe it or not, but I don't keep pillows when I'm excited about the green sweater and the football. Here, what we uh, have to point out is it's the green sweater and the football. It's not just any green sweater, not just any football, but the green sweater and the football. So there's some specific... Uh, items here he's referring to. It's how you misplace a pool. So it's the action of the way, the style in which you misplace a pool. Very interesting because a pool is a very large object, mo mostly uh, filled with water. To misplace a pool is, is um, almost impossible to imagine. How would you misplace a pool? So you have to imagine the impossible being done, the misplacement of a pool. And uh, this relates then somehow to a specific green sweater and a football and the keeping of pillows. So he, what he's saying is he doesn't keep pillows. Here, I don't keep pillows when I'm excited about the green sweater and the football. Not keeping pillows is, is the key element here. So there's excitement that builds up with a specific green sweater and a specific pill, uh, sorry, football. And when that excitement builds up, there's no need to have pillows around. And this relates to the misplacing of a pool, an impossible task. Very poetic, I would have to say. 
I know why the best people with beaches often summarize their children into a couple of very long discussions, but I don't know how to explain it. So here we have people with beaches. I would assume this means people that own beachfront property. So, and not just any of those people, but the best of those. So very specific uh, reference to a very specific group of people owning beachfront property who summarize their children into a couple of very long discussions. I don't know what to say about that. They summarize their children into a couple of very long discussions. Um, there's some sort of trick, trickery of the wording going on here. Very, very strange. Uh, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments, of course. Um, then he goes on to say, but I don't know how to explain it. So he's unable to explain uh, the reason why these specific people that live by the, uh, the, or that own beachfront property would summarize their children into a couple of very long discussions. He's telling us that he knows why, but he's not actually able to explain it. He doesn't know how. Okay, it ends with saying, uh, please return immediately to the stubborn pile of wood in Phoenix, Arizona. So, uh, once again, there's a reference to a specific pile of wood that's stubborn. It exists in Phoenix, Arizona. And it says, good to hear about it. Dinner Jack Star. So it's obviously uh, something that makes him um, uh, pleased to hear about, uh, about it. And then he refers to uh, Jack Star. I don't know who Jack Star is. It ends with a sincerely the hoof. The hoof. Uh, so he thinks of himself as the hoof, in other words. Uh, very interesting stuff here. Uh, let me know what you think, everybody. This was uh, another fun-filled edition of Analyzing Mike Penny. Starring yours truly, Kevin Metz. Thank you very much. Shut up, dog. Shut up! All right, sorry, I'm just kidding. I love my dog. I would never actually tell him to shut up. Her, it's a her, actually, it's a girl dog. Sorry, I love everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, this exciting episode of Analyzing Mike Penny. Thank you for watching, everyone, and be sure to check out Mike Penny, the great shamisen player! Woo!